Well, no matter what happens with the Lions over the next month, our most memorable football season will continue into the spring. Yeah, that's because Detroit will host the NFL draft this year from April 25th through the 27th. And NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell was in town today talking all about it and what it means to the league and to the city. Business editor Rob Maloney is live downtown with that story. Hey there, Rod. Hi, right, Damon. You know, check behind me here. 99 days, in case you hadn't done the math, to the draft. And this section of downtown Detroit is likely to be jammed. Now, Roger Goodell said that Detroit is one of those foundational NFL cities, right? I mean, it's, it's like the Red Wings being in the original six. The Lions are an original team. And he says that matters. It's special when you bring the draft here in April. Commissioner Roger Goodell wasn't at the Lions game Sunday, but he had family here and told NBC football play-by-play -play lead Mike Tirico. I happened to have a niece who was here because her husband is a huge Detroit Lions fan, so I got him a couple of tickets to come to the game, and they were texting the entire game just off the moon. Best event I've ever been to in my life, and it was just fantastic, so that's for you. Speaking to Metro Detroit business leaders, he said that kind of passion is what makes the NFL draft go, an event he moved out of New York City and discovered major success that's helping the league grow in popularity and understand it's a major stage to sell a city like Detroit. We want you to do it Detroit style, right? We want you to sh show what Detroit fans and the passion and the community and the downtown, if that's where the location is. And, and let people understand what Detroit's all about. And you won't get a bigger platform. Our, our draft here will probably reach 60 or 70 million people over the three days. Getting the NFL draft requires major work like winning a Super Bowl host bid. And it took the Lions three tries to get the NFL's attention on this one, Goodell admitting. They believe that this community should be on the stage. And they, they pursued it very aggressively. They brought the, the business community together along with the public sector, and, and the leadership here has been extraordinary. Now, one of the great things about the draft was when Roger Goodell goes up to read a name, the fans boo him. Mike Tirico said, Detroit fans won't do that. And Roger said, no. He said, I, I would feel bad or somehow strange if they didn't boo me. So expect it to happen <laughs> come April. <laughs> Reporting live downtown, Rod Maloney, back to you. Okay, Rod, <laughs> certainly an exciting time. We appreciate it. 99 days left.